Okay, I'm going to show you my jungle of a wiring loom. As you can see, they're all coming in. So when I built the camper, I made sure that all were protected with the sleeving. And <clears throat> I made sure I had plenty of spares. I one there. One there. And there's also one at the back doors, which is down there. Now, the only thing that's wired up on them are the negatives. The lives are not wired at all, so it's not, it's perfectly safe, okay? This one is another one which I calculated for, for the diesel heater, which was down here. But I decided to wire that differently, you can't see that. There it is, it finishes there. That one there. Anyway, so that's not even connected at all. So these three... I've got to decide whether I'm going to connect them or leave them. I'm not using them for now, so I'm not really bothered. It's just too... I wasn't too sure about these lights when I fitted these. These are spotties. Well, they're good as well. Right, so that's that said. So, and then I've got two main wires coming in, if you can see them here. So I've got a black and a red. And these are coming from the battery. The battery now is situated there two batteries actually and you can see the red wire and the black wire running along there and they go up through round and then they come into here so on these switches that you get these chinese switches what you do you've got a live coming in and a neutral so what i did i bought one of these waterproof boxes and i bought a buzz bar that's what they call them or a, 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 a block a circuit block or whatever you want to call it this is i made this a neutral block so all my neutrals go to this, including the one from the battery. So this is the one here going there. Okay. So when they come through, you've got, like you said, your knife. So your negative goes to the block connector. So all my neutrals go to this. Everything. From then, that goes down here. And that goes to the neutral side of this block switch so that then means all these are neutral so they're all wired ready to go and then the red wire which comes from the battery comes down here goes through and that goes to the live side of the switch making all these switches now live so what you do then whenever you connect anything you connect it to this little thing which is a fuse which is in turn connected to each one of these switches, making each item that you connect safe or safe-ish, as in if it blows, the fuse will go first with a bit of luck. So each one has a fuse, except, oh, and that one's got one as well. I'm just checking what I've wired. So I've got that one wired, that one's wired, that one I've just done. Where's my next one? That one, that's done. And that one's done. So they're all wired. All right, and they're all fused. So what I'll do now, I'll probably just get these and that one and just take them up out of the way. Because they're not connected to anything and they're not going to do any harm. And I'll decide if I want to wire them. I can leave them for now. I probably will, but, but that's it for now. Uh, so I just thought I'd give you an update on the switching and trying to keep everything pretty safe. And these block connectors are brilliant. And also there's a cap to go on there, which I'll show you in a sec. Okay, that cap goes on there, if I can hold this without doing anything. And then you get little, little plastic screw tops. Just put them in like that, and I'll just tighten them up with a pair of pliers, just gently. And that protects the block. There we go. So what I've done is just trimmed all the bare wires off and now I've okay so they can be used at a later date if I need to but they're not going to hurt anything because they're not connected to anything uh, and that's where we are so far so I've wired that one up and I'll just show you what that one does <sighs> these are great cases I just covered it I uh, what I did with this I just um they've got I'll show you they've got they got these lugs in it which is quite good but also because it's plastic what I did was sand it and then covered it in carpet, that special stretch stretch carpet. Let me just pop in and screw in. Right, so 
I've got these little stickers I've got to put on and I'll show you what I try and show you what everything does in a second. Okay, so that one now should be live. I'll just show you. So let's do this, do this one first. So this one now live is doing the lights under the bed. There we go, blue lights. The second one is the kitchen light. Okay, so off goes that one. This one. Now this should be what we did yesterday. Bear with me. This should be very quickly. You can hear it. Apart from the cuckoo and a bit of pigeon. Listen. Probably if I open the door. That's the tap. So that's that done now. And that means it's all on a separate circuit so I can isolate it. And that's the general idea. I can't hear what that one's for now. What the hell's that one for? And that is internal lights. Let me bear with me. Let me bear with me. You can bear with me. Internal lights. Okay, on a remote control as well. So that's off. You know, I can't. I honestly can't remember what that one's for. Hi, I just remember what that one's for. <laughs> okay, let me just pop you outside. <clears throat> so, behind the seat that I've not fitted yet, which I'm going to fit because we're going for a little journey and the daughter's coming, is this. And that's a little charger. And you hold it in, it's off. Okay, but it also tells you it flies around when it's charging, and then when it's fully charged, it stops. And that's it, that's off. So that's it, that's what everything does. So we've got, just to recap, main lights, charging port for USB, tap and sink, kitchen, and, uh, yeah, lights under the bed. There we go, I hope you enjoyed the video, just to give you a rough down, of course also we've got the solar panel on the roof which is a 100 watt solar panel feeding into here which is now giving our charge control unit or solar charge controller, whatever you want to call it, and that goes into that, these two coming off are going to the diesel heater, no they're not, I remember in a minute, it's been so long since I've been doing this, right so these two coming in are from the solar panel, i.e. solar panel. These two are coming in from the battery because this needs power. Okay, and this one is my disco light. When I fancy a bit of a jig in the evening. You don't believe me, do you? Ready? That's what it does. See, I told you it's a disco light. But this one is a separate power. So if I just take that out. So this powers these two USBs. Okay which proves it, if I put that back in, nothing, power on. And there we go, That's it's quite a very easy, simple design. Uh, just gonna make sure all the wires are nice and tidy and clean, and I've got this cover on, which is brilliant. And that's it, take care. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and a like, that would be really appreciated, and we'll catch you definitely in the next one.